Hello friends. Today we will going to discuss about the baseband digital transmission. And in the baseband digital transmission, we will discuss about the point multiplexer and ratchet. In case of the multiplexer, is a nothing but multiplexing. It's nothing but many input and one output. And demultiplexer is nothing but there is only one input for the system and many output. Generally, this multiplexing technique is used to transfer the digital data through the space. So, before going in detail about the baseband digital transmission, we must know about that. The what is the mean by multiplexing? General problem: there are the several and different channels, and this channel may be the voice TV channel should be supported between the pair of the locations, and could we would like to avoid. the use of the n physical links that is the cable and through the cable is a nothing but it is the channel in any communication system channel is very important because through the channel we able to transmit the information transmit the information through the space through the wire line through the optical fiber cable and microwave link etc looking at the feature of the media you will be easily see that the supported bandwidth exceeds by far the bandwidth needed for the e channel then the variance of the multiplexing the multiplexing is very important parameter and its dimension for the multiplexing is given there is first parameter is the time the time is very important for the multiplexing second is the frequency third is the core fourth is the space in this way there are the variety of the dimensions we have able to design of the multiplexing then which care is to be taken while any multiplexing technology is able to use the care for separation there is a guard space and code orthogonality this special care we have able to take while the multiplexing system is a design for the baseband data transmission or baseband digital transmission system then the multiplexing can be first is the synchronous and the statistical the synchronous is nothing but the constant allocation there is a constant number of the input is able to provided for the system for the transmission side as well as the constant data should be able to receive and to process it on the receiver side which is called as the synchronous or the constant allocation next is the statistical statistical its meaning is that there is a variable allocation means its number of the input and number of the output is should not able to constant it should be very depending upon the bandwidth the application system requirement etc then the frequency of the multiplex basically the multiplexing technology or multiplex multiplex access technology is a generally categorized into the number of the types there is a frequency division multiplexing time division multiplexing code division multiplexing space division multiplexing orthogonal division multiplexing these are the number of the technologies established nowadays in the digital communication system then frequency of the multiplex basically in case of the frequency of the multiplex the frequency division multiplex commonly it is called as the frequency division multiplexing then separation of the whole spectrum into the smaller frequency band means whatever the whole frequency band should be given that band is divided into a very small smaller frequency band and that smaller frequency band is allocated to the each user each channel and that channel is get certain band of the spectrum in the synchronous case or for the whole time now the guard zone is the frequency are needed suppose with the reference of this uh, diagram we have understand that here is the multiplexing and here is the demultiplexing the multiplexing many to one many to one and one to many it is called as the demux then channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 in this way there are channel 1 is allocated a fixed one particular frequency specified or allocated frequency similar for channel 2 and channel c also then in special case the wave division multiplexing 
means this is the multiplexer and the demultiplexer. This is generally used for optical fiber communication system. Means a specific wavelength of the signal having it allocated a frequency and that will be allocated for the specific user and for this special case we call it is the wave division multiplexing technique WDM. Then the scheme for the FDM. In case of the uh, frequency division multiplexing, there are the multiple frequency signal uh, should be given to the modulator and that modulator are combined together. Means this system having the frequencies F1, F2, F3, all that frequency will be clubbed together, combined together in case of the multiplexer and that will be able to transmit it through the different chain techniques and which is received by the receiver then how to identify how to separate out it will be separate out with the help of the filter there is a filter 1 filter 2 filter 3 in this way n number of the filter which is to be separated the frequency and which is given to the allocated demodulator there is a f1 f2 f3 in this way and which is process the data and to particular uh, user or receiver have able to receive the data and to process it. Then next is the time division multiplexing. In case of the time division multiplexing is very important nowadays because whole in case of the frequency division multiplexing a whole bandwidth it will be divided into the number of the small small frequency bands. That frequency band is allocated for the specified users only means another user cannot able to use that frequency band but in case of the time division multiplexing the whole bandwidth should be used each and every user for the specified time or allocated time only once that time is over that band is able to use for the another user also then whole bandwidth is used for all the time but alternatively by the different channels. Then from this figure, uh, we easy to understand what is the time division multiplexing technique. The same thing here, uh, as per the frequency division multiplexing technique, there is a 1, 2, 3, 4. There are n number of the users have given the input to the multiplexer. And the data is a flow from one user to the another user. Suppose here is the four users one two three four means that four user is allocated by its own not a own bandwidth but specified time suppose one two three four first user is able to use this time slot once this time slot is over this will be used by second this will be used by third this will be used by fourth also in this way one by one, the user is able to use that whole the bandwidth, which is the all the time. This is the advantages. Then time multiplex interleaving of the data segments. In case of the uh, data segments, there is a synchronization is very important because that part uh, you've seen in my next video. What is the synchronization, bit sync, synchronization, frame synchronization? what is the importance of the synchronization that part we have seen in my next video then now here there are the number of the users there is a a1 a2 a3 b2 b3 c1 c3 that will be able to use by the synchronization of these frames frame 1 frame 2 frame 3 in this way and that will be used by the user there is a a3 a2 a1 in this way then next uh, multiplexing technique which is the code division multiplexing assess means basically this is the unique code in the same spectrum at the same time but the frequency band for the transmission is the first suppose there are a uh, time slot should be allocated for f1 there is a t3 and there is a t10 there is a t15 uh, t23 in this way but sometime there is a interference should be 
created because the same user is allocated by, by the same frequency band for the code division multiplexing technique and once there are the two user at a time there is a used by the single frequency band or time duration at that time the interference should be created in case of the code division multiplexing but in case of the security uh, point of view then cost point of view and the quality uh, point of view the code division multiplexing assist technology is superior than the fdm and tdm then statistically multiplexing what is the mean by the statistically multiplexing the statistically multiplexing is the communication channel is a divided into the arbitrary number of the variable bit rate digital channels or data streams then for here the link is a sharing is adaptive to the instantaneous traffic demand of the data stream that is transferred over the each channel when performed correctly then statistical multiplexing can provide a link utilization improvement which is called as the statistically multiplexing gain then the statistically multiplexing is a facilitated through the packet modes or the packet oriented communication which among other utilizer in the packet switched computer network then in statistically multiplexing each packet of the frame contains the channel data stream identify the number or complete destination address information then packet to be transmitted are stored in a common buffer buffer is the temporary memory and are the transmitted according to the specified scheduled rules suppose there is a one example in the google classroom suppose there is your uh, my specifically subject is about the decom for 3:30 pm and i want to give the scheduling for your lecture in the previous day previous day we have adjusting to display or to allow allow to display all the my videos at 3:30 pm now the next day means i want to able to store your data in the buffer in the statistically manner and then at the right time it will be able to display this is the statistical multiplexing technique is used and of this that transmitter is never ideal as long as there are the packet to be transmitted then comparison with the static tdm and fdm the time domain statistical multiplexing is a similar to the time division multiplexing except that rather than assigning the data stream to the same uh, requirement time slot in every tdm frame each data stream is assigned to the time slot of the fixed or data frame that often appear in the schedule scheduled in a randomized order and experience variety delay and while the delay is fixed in the time division multiplexing then statistically multiplexing allows the bandwidth to divided the arbitrarily among a variable number of the channels then statistically multiplexing ensures that the slot will not be wasted the uh, in case of the transmission capacity of the link will be shared by only those user who have the packets and the statistical most costly this is the one limitations but uh, whatever as compared to the limitations its advantages is more uh, so that statistically uh, multiplexing is the more convenient nowadays then the tdm and fdm is a divide, divide a communication link into the channel with the fixed transmission rate while in the statistically is only uses the channel when uh, it has a packet to send then tdm and fdm is the less efficient for the irregular flow of the packets the average delay uh, for the fdm and tdm is larger then data multiplexer this data multiplexer is divided into the space division multiplexing frequency division multiplexing time division multiplexing polarization division multiplexing orbit triangular momentum multiplexing code division multiplexing these are the some uh, 
multiplexing techniques is used now i hope that uh, this my video you understand the basic concept behind of the multiplexing and its hierarchies if any doubt any query please write on my comment page comment page uh, subscribe my channel and please click on my bell icon good night